What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another God Logic stream. I'm your host, Avery Austin, where we have open discussions with Muslims, Christians, Jews, Hebrew Israelites, and any other heretic out there. Um, ah, so uh, we are here. I have a guest in the backstage who is uh, who messaged me. He's a Muslim who was willing to have a discussion about Christianity and Islam. Um, he seems respectable so far. And, uh, you know, I'm excited to have this conversation with him. So uh, make sure you guys come on in here, hit that like button and, subs and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and moderators, if you can, pin the Patreon link up above. What's going on, everybody? Pin the Patreon link up above. Give me one second while I fix this lighting here. There we are. All right, then. There we go here. So we got everybody in here. It's good to see all of you guys. Yes, please, everyone, as you're in here and coming in, I see you guys jumping in here. Hit that like button so we can have this good conversation and pray this goes well. I pray that God speaks through me. I pray that God uses me as an example, that he moves me out the way, that it's not me. It's all him, um, that I speak the truth uh, accurately um, with boldness. Um, uh, under the guidance of the Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay. So let's have our guest come on up. How you doing, Bob? Oh, hello. How are you? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. <laughs> it's, it's nice to hear your voice. Good. Yeah, it's nice to hear your voice as well. I mean, um, I'm so happy that I've got this opportunity. You gave me this opportunity. Obviously, this is your platform. Um, mm -hmm. to have a uh, discussion about Islam, Islam and Christianity. Yeah, for sure. Uh, how long have you been a Muslim? Well, Alhamdulillah, I've been a Muslim all my life. Uh, it's like generation after generation, you know. So mm -hmm. I don't know how long, but it's like hundreds of hundreds <laughs> of years. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. <laughs> so yeah. it's, it's, all through, it's all through the family. Everybody in the family is uh, is Muslim and is raised Muslim and stuff like that. I don't know what's happening. Hello. Yeah, can you can you hear me? Hello. Bob, can you hear me? Can you can you at least see me? Bob. Yeah, I don't know what's happening, mate. Sorry. Do you know what's the problem? It keeps stopping. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. It keeps stopping. Do you know what's the problem? Um, is it uh do you have YouTube open or is it just this link that you have open? Just this link. Okay, it should be it should be fine. It just if if anything, it's probably a, a connection issue, an internet connection issue on your side. Okay, just in case if if something goes wrong, I can try my other um a device. Yeah, just in case. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. in case. Just in case. We'll Hopefully it will work. Hopefully it will work because last time I spoke to someone, I, I did use this one, so it was mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Okay, for sure, for sure, that works yeah. out. Yeah, that works out. Um, but yeah, so, <clears throat> you know, um, that's good. That's good. I'm just, you know, getting to know you a little bit. Uh, I was also raised in a Christian home. Um, okay. and so kind of grew up in, into this. My parents were like really heavy in the church and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, so we, we both, we both have our, our roots into our, <laughs> into our yeah. religion this nature. Huh? Yeah, yeah. So, um, okay. So, uh, you, you know, you're, you're a grown man, you're an adult who has yes. decided for himself <laughs> that Islam is the truth, right? I'm an yes, adult that, right, has, yes. that has decided that Christianity is the truth. Now, so you, 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 when you messaged me, you said that there were some things um, that I said about, uh, I guess, Islam. I was debating another Muslim, and you had some disagreements about what I said. Do you remember what that was? I mean, I didn't watch the whole video, but there's a few of them that I caught. And um, I think he was speaking to a man called Abbas. This is a few days ago, I believe. Okay. Yeah. You remember? Yeah, I was to Abbas a few days ago? There. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you. Why does he keep doing that? Also, it's cutting off still. Hello, mate. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you... Yeah, sorry. What I was saying is that um, I think he was speaking to a man called Abbas a few days ago. Yeah. 
Do you remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah and much, um, yeah. yeah, I think you've mentioned that um, a few things that stopped you from being a Muslim is that um, uh, uh, the fact that um, our Prophet Muhammad, whom peace be with, he was um, uh, bewitched um, with some uh, magic on him that caused yeah. him to forget, that caused him to make him think that he sleeps with his wife, Aisha. And that obviously is something that's stopping you from being a Muslim. And also, you also said that the other thing is that contradictions in the Quran, that's what makes, that makes you stop being a Muslim. So, you know, I've got some points to come and show you. So hopefully, inshallah, you're going to become a Muslim, inshallah. <laughs> you know? Okay. All right. So, uh, yeah, last, last year, I, you know, I had my heart opened to say my Shahada. Um, it didn't happen. But, you know, maybe sometime coming up this year, I'll, I'll reopen my heart again. Uh, but, you know, maybe this time I'll give, I'll give you a chance to, to, to give me a reason to say my Shahada. But, yeah, um, I do not believe um, that a prophet of God, the one, a prophet right. who uh, has the Holy Spirit um, guiding him and, uh, and empowering him uh, to be able to be bewitched, to be under the powers or the influence of the devil or demons or magical demonic power that cannot happen okay. to a prophet it's you know so <clears throat> automatically for me that knocks him out that disqualifies him i mean e even the quran says like a chapter i think it's chapter 16 if i'm not mistaken it talks about how uh the powers of the devil only works on those who follow him are you familiar with that verse bob can you hear me yeah, I can hear you, man. I don't know what's the problem, mate. It keeps stopping. Yeah, try, um, try to maybe try to switch devices. All right, okay, all right, just all right. So we're gonna wait for him to switch up uh, switch up the devices, but uh, yes, we are going to go into this. It should be a fun discussion. You guys said that he's spoken to a uh, Christian prince before, huh? Sounds like a nice guy so far. I mean, they usually do in the beginning, though. So we'll see. But yes, guys, come on in. There's an early stream today. It's an early stream, you know. So come on in. Waiting for pe more people to come on and stroll on in here. I just finished uh, having like a little Bible study with a friend of mine. Was reading. We're reading through Ephesians. Ephesians. It's pretty good. It's beautiful. Beautiful book. I actually. Kind of want to just read through Ephesians on a stream one day. Just Ephesians in chapter four talks about the unity of Christ and walking in new life. It's beautiful, beautiful chapter. Beautiful chapter for the building up of saints. <clears throat> um, but yeah, let's see here what we got going on. So he's going to try to switch up his devices. So we're going to do that. But yeah, guys, man, it's good to be back. Good to see you guys. We were, I was just on Reasoned Answers um, a few days ago. We were having fun over there with some Muslims, having a good old time. Um, uh, even even that dude, Nad Nadir, uh, popped in the comment section. That dude, he loves attention, man. He loves attention. I'm not really interested in giving it to him. Um, but for those of you guys who may, are maybe new, um, just wanted to, to uh, put forth the mission right now that we're on. We're doing pretty good so far. Uh, we have, I believe, about 38 or 39 patrons last time I checked, if I'm not mistaken. About 38 patrons um, <clears throat> joining the mission, and, and, I, and I love it, and I, I love it. Um, so the mission, guys, is to get um, God Logic, the ministry, God Logic Apologetics, um, into full time ministry, right? And so um, I need I need you guys to join the Patreon. I have uh, a few tiers on there: a twenty dollar tier that you guys can join, and a ten dollar tier you guys can join. I also have you know a fifty dollar tier and a hundred dollar tier that you guys can join. Join and give as you as you wish. But um, that is the goal. That's the mission. And I praise and thank God for all of you who have joined so far um, and, and, and hopped on the Patreon. So the Patreon link 
scrolling across the stream here, so the stream, and we also have moderators putting it, putting the links in the uh, comments section, and it's also in the description box. And for those who give by PayPal and um, all other kinds of ways, keep on doing it. That's perfectly fine because that goes straight to me. I don't have to wait a month for that. But but yeah, so I appreciate all of you guys. Please consider joining uh, and becoming a patron. All right, he's back. How you doing? Is it working? Um, can you I can hear, hear me? You just fine. Yeah. Oh, you can hear me. That's fine. Yeah. Excellent. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you perfectly. Oh, excellent, excellent. Okay, so um, yeah, as I just said, um, uh, you said you said there's these two reasons. I'm not sure which is the only reason that um that stops you from being a Muslim. So if you could please let me know, and then if I can answer you, please, that would be great. No, yeah, that that's a big one. So it's not the only one. I have I have a lot of problems with Islam. I do. I have a lot of okay. problems with with Islam. This is this is one of my big problems with Islam that Muhammad <clears throat> being you know claiming to be a prophet of God right and claiming to be protected under under God's protection and and guidance that he yeah. able to be bewitched you know under the influence of the powers of the devil under the powers of demonic forces that's not that cannot happen to a prophet like my, when you read about the previous prophets they have authority over these powers they 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 cannot these, these this, it just cannot happen to them because they have the power of god in them the holy spirit is within them is on them you know and working through them so the, it doesn't make sense that a demonic demonic powers can overpower the power of god it's just it's impossible you think that's reasonable okay um do you want me to respond to that or of course yeah go ahead yeah. Okay. Wait, wait. Excellent. Okay. Um. Now this is a, this is not in the Quran, by the way. This is in the Hadith, right? Mm. Uh, this story of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam uh, being bewitched by um, I think it's a Jewish person, someone from the Jewish tribe. So um, so this, in our understanding, it's uh, it's uh, something that has happened to the Prophet. Yes, it's it's in the Sahih or Mus uh, Muslim Sahih Hadith. Or Bukhari, something like that. It has happened to him. So, um, in our understanding, is that this is a test to the Prophet uh, Muhammad, whom peace be with, um, to show to the fact that um, uh, what do you call them? The devil, the shayateen, can actually uh, get to people um, uh, to be able to get to people. Now, um, despite these things happening him to, uh, to think he has, a, um, he has, he has dreams of sleeping with his wives. This is not actually stopping him from performing his message of Islam, to the true message of Islam. It's not stopping him from uh, going against God's command. For instance, um, he could have said, oh, God is an idol or God is this. Satan had no control over him or, or with that. It, it's only he, in, in his dream, he was dreaming about that. Now, this is why the protection of Suratul Falak and Nas were sent, okay, for him, um, for Muslims to use this as a protect, protection, especially Suratul Falak and Suratul Nas. These two are sent for protection. Despite the Prophet being bewitched, yeah, it did not stop him from conveying his message, his true message, which is the oneness of Allah and, you know, believing the prophets and uh, keeping the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, so this is what my understanding is and uh, the scholars understand it. So I don't know if you want to respond to that and say something else yeah. about that. <clears throat> so you, we will both agree that uh, bewitchment or witchcraft is of the powers of the devil, of, of, you know, demonic forces. You would agree with that, right? That's right. Yeah. Right. So for him to suc be able to succumb to demonic forces, to the powers of the devil, uh disqualifies him from being a prophet period even by the quranic standards because the quran says that the only people that the author that the devil has authority over are people that follow him this is chapter okay. 16 verse 98 through 100 right he says okay, yeah. yeah that's right nobody, 
right, right. So if that's the case, if the if the devil has no power over those who um, who don't follow him, but only power over those who do follow him, then if Muhammad was su successfully bewitched under the power of the devil, under the powers of the devil, he he disqualifies as a prophet. God is not with him. Okay. Um, I will say it again because I said it not long ago. Um, the Prophet وسلم, did not follow the devil's footsteps. He didn't. This is this is like a bewitch, yeah, which was causing him to uh, feel like um, he had sex with his um, partner Aisha, but it did not affect his message. He didn't actually follow Satan's commandment. This is a bewitch. It doesn't mean he followed his commandments. You know, I because think you're missing it. I think you're missing it. Hold on, I don't mean to okay. cut you off, but I think you're missing it. If he is a believer, yeah, then he cannot be bewitched. Period. That's not that not not necessarily, no. Not necessarily. So then how so then how is it that when the Quran says that the devil has no authority over a believer, but only authority over those who who obey him, how right. is it then? that Muhammad can fall under the authority of Satan. Okay, but um, the devil, um, did you say um, the pro, uh, the devil cannot make uh, the believers to follow his commandment? Is that what you said? He, can, he, cannot, he cannot bewitch them. He cannot bewitch no. them. He can, no, he no, can no, it didn't say that. It didn't say yeah. that. The Quran says... Oh, well, the, the, bewitching... Bewitching is when you you have total control over a person's mind. No, 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 not, not necessarily. Action. Bewitch can happen in some cases, in some cases, but it doesn't mean it's happening in everything in your life. You know? I and understand that, that. that. Yeah. The My, example no, of it is... So wait, hold on. Just, just real quick so we understand what be, bewitching is. When you're bewitched, yeah. it means that your mind has been taken over. Not necessarily, no. <laughs> this is... um in. In our Prophet Muhammad situation, yeah, he was bewitched in terms of, yeah, he was sleeping with his wife. Um, but in fact, he, in fact, he wasn't doing it. But his so message... He was, so he thought, so in his mind, he thought something yeah. that was outside of reality, right? Yes, exactly, yeah. So yeah. his mind was controlled into thinking something was happening that wasn't. Yes, that's he right, yeah. But that, one, okay. but that one is, is particularly... In that, that one particularly is talking about it's about him having uh, uh, sexual intercourse with his wife. It's just that yes. on that matter. But when it comes so, to thinking, it's about the mind, though, Bob. You're missing it. It's about his that's mind. right. Yeah, yeah. So his mind yeah. was taken over, correct? That's right. Yeah. Okay. So his mind but, but was that, taken over and was under the authority of demonic powers. I'm not not every demonic power. Just listen to me, please. All right. I'm talking about just particularly, just that particularly thing about him sleeping with his wife. It's just that one. Okay. When it comes to delivering the message, yeah, the Tawheed, yeah, and the belief in the prophets, the message, keeping the law, the commandments, yeah, it did not affect him on that, um, on those subjects. Not at all. Because if you look at the, if you look at the Quran, the whole message of the Quran is based on Tawheed. There's nothing there that says um, not. Allah, Allah is two or three or four. Yeah, it's all one. Okay. Now, on that particular bit where that he felt like he was sleeping with his wife, yeah, but he wasn't. Just that bit, it was affected. Yeah? We Muslims accept that, but we don't accept it affected his message, his true message. It didn't affect his true message. So you're saying that Satan didn't affect his message? Yes, that's right. But the Quran says it did. Where? Can you show it to me, please? Yeah, chapter 22, verse 52. 2252. Give me a second, please. Chapter 22, verse 52 says, Never did we send a messenger or a prophet before you. But when he did, he recited the revelation. And Satan threw in, threw in it, but Allah abolishes that what Satan throws in. Okay, can I read it out first? Then I can talk about it, please. 
Sure, because I, I would like if you if you're confused about this, I can get you the the No, no, no. I mean, no, you are right, it's there. You are right. I'm not saying I'm not saying it's not there. Okay. I just want to read it out so that I can also have my understanding, right? It you're says right. whenever we sent a prophet or a messenger before you a prophet and he recited our revelation, Satan would influence people's understanding of his uh, recitations. But that's eventually no, wait, wait, Allah wait, 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 that's not what it doesn't say he will influence anything. It doesn't say that. It says that's when he recited, Satan threw in it. Satan threw in the recitation. That's what it says. It doesn't say anything about influence. I don't okay, know can I finish? Can I finish and then explain at least? <laughs> you know, well, but I don't want you. I don't want you going off on the wrong on the wrong translation because that like that no. literally just butchered the verse. That's that's what he says on it. Are, are you, does it say influence in uh what 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 version of the Quran are you reading, bro? Because that doesn't it doesn't say that in the Arabic. It doesn't say the word influence is not there. Okay, what does it say on your translation? It says, and I'll read it again. It says, okay. let, me, let me actually put it on the screen for you. Okay. <clears throat> and if we need to, uh, we can go to the word for word and look at the Arabic. But can you see it on the screen? Yeah. Okay. Never did we send a messenger or a prophet before you. Mm -hmm. Talking about Muhammad. But when he did recite the revelation or narrated or spoke, Satan through in it now see i'm skipping the the parentheses because i don't i don't believe in reading parentheses in it yeah uh, in, okay so i'm skipping the parentheses but i'm just reading the words for what what it says in the actual that's right words. yeah so yeah satan threw in it he threw in the recitation the revelation that he spoke he threw in it but allah abolishes that which satan throws in that's right yeah and Allah establishes his revelations and Allah is the all-knower, all-wise. So Satan successfully threw in to Muhammad's re revelation, his recitation, but Allah then came and fixed it. He abolished what Satan had thrown in. Okay. Can I respond to that, please? Yes. Excellent. Um, okay. Um, are you aware when the Quran was revealed, it wasn't written, it's a recitation, right? That's right. Are you, aware? Right. Are you aware of that? Yes. Okay, excellent. So it's not like it's written down and then the, prof the Prophet Muhammad, who peace be with, he can't read or write. So when the angel uh, Jibreel comes to him, he recites the Quran to him. Okay, and then he will, he will memorize that one and take it. <laughs> so when he recites the Quran sometimes, when he recites it, Satan can come in and influence and change the words because Satan can play in your mind. We Muslims accept that when we when we read the Quran, the Sayyatin can come, the Satan can come, yeah, and put things in your mind and make you misread the Quran. This is what he's talking about. Even the Prophet Muhammad, when he reads the Quran, sometimes he makes mistakes. This is what Allah is talking about. Allah will come, yeah, and confirm his signs. Uh, sorry, his um his recitation. But it doesn't mean it's permanently there. You know, if I'll give an example, when we pray. Yeah, uh, as Imam is reading, Imam can make mistake. We accept that. That's the Satan um, influence in him. So you'll have people at the back. Yeah, that will that will memorize the Quran. That will confirm it. That will tell it. That will say no. That will actually recite the correct way, so the Imam will get that. So despite the say the Satan uh, doing that, yeah, it doesn't mean it's always going to be there permanently. It doesn't mean Satan changes. It. it means it's um, influence them. To, to be able to read it wrongly, to read it out wrongly. So the Prophet Muhammad is a human being, you know. Despite being a prophet, he's a human being. He can make mistakes. But that those mistakes will not will not be um, permanently there. Yeah. Can I read you the explanation behind this verse and how why it was revealed, the background? Yeah, if you want. Yeah, go on. It's fine. Yeah. Okay, so this is from <clears throat> the Azbaba Mazul. And, so who, sorry? Uh, Who's this? Sorry, Azbab, uh, the Azbab Al Nazul. You familiar with that? And, and who are they? Do you know them? Yeah, Al Wahidi. So the Az, the Azbab Al Nazul it, it means the reason behind the revelation. So so okay, this you, is like a tough, this is a tough seal of it. Tough seal. Yes, tough seal. Yes, it's tough seal. Okay, 
Okay, tafsir. I mean, I mean, I don't, I don't agree with every tafsir, but you can tell me your tafsir. Let's have a look. Oh, so I'll give goodness. you a chance to say. No problem. Yeah. So the, I just want you to know this isn't mine. The Azbab Az al by al Wahidi is, is very authoritative. As a matter of fact, all the rest of the Azbab al Nazuls are kind of based on, they're formulated after his. Like, his is the okay. standard. Okay. okay. So so this is the background of the verse. Uh, is it is it clear on the screen for, for you? I can so see, it, yeah, a, a bit more higher, a bit more higher. It's okay. all right. Yeah, a bit All more right. higher. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's perfect. fine. That's fine. All right. So it says, so breaking down the verse, never sent we a messenger or a prophet before thee. The commentators of, of the Quran said, when the messenger of Allah, Allah bless him and give him peace, saw that his people were shunning him. He was aggrieved by the rejection of the message he brought them. And he secretly wished that Allah, exalted as he, reveals something to him, which would bring him and his people closer to each other, keen as he was to see them except faith. So Muhammad really wanted them to believe in him, right? His own people when they wouldn't. Okay, so okay, he had yeah. a deep I'm desire. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, go right, on, okay. yeah. On one day, he sat in one of, in one of the congregations of Quraysh, which attracted a huge number of its members. And he wished that Allah, exalted as he, does not reveal to him on that day anything that might repel them from him. Mm -hmm. Allah, that's a red flag, by the way. Allah, exalted as he, revealed to him then Surah Al-Najm by, by the star when it said it, chapter 53. The messenger of Allah, Allah bless him and give him peace, recited it. But when he reached, have you thought upon Allah, Al-Uzza and Manat, the third, the other, the three goddesses, right? When he reached the, that, that, uh, that saying, the devil put on his tongue what he had secretly wished and hoped for and said, these are the mighty cranes and their intercession is hoped for. So Muhammad said, you can pray to these three gods. When the Quraysh heard this, they were very pleased. The messenger of okay. Allah, Allah bless him, give him peace, carried on reciting until the end of the surah and then prostrated. So he mm -hmm. bowed down to these three gods as well. Sorry, All when you say prostrated, when you say prostrated, who did, the prophet or the Quraysh? Yeah. Uh, all of who did who prostrated? So Muhammad prostrated first, and then okay. and then the rest will will, will uh, prostrate after him. So watch this. So Muhammad prostrated first, and then it says, "All the Muslims followed suit and prostrated, okay. and okay. all the idolaters who were present prostrated too." Okay. okay. All those, all those who were present whether Muslim or disbeliever, prostrated, except Al-Walid ibn Al-Mughira and Abu Uyahya, Said ibn Alas, who were too advanced in age and could not prostrate. But they both grabbed a handful of dust and put their foreheads on it. The Quraysh then dispersed, happy with what they had heard. They said, Muhammad has mentioned our idols with complimentary terms. We know that Allah gives life and takes it away. He creates and he creates and provides sustenance, but these idols of ours will intercede for us with him. Now that Muhammad has associated them, we are with we are all with him. So the creation the creation started to believe he was a prophet because he spoke well of their idols and prostrated to their idols. That evening, so notice, mm -hmm. this lasted all day. Now mm -hmm. it's the evening time, okay? That evening, Gabriel, peace be upon him, went to the messenger of Allah. Allah bless him and give him peace and said, what have you done? You recited to people that which I did not bring from Allah, glorified mm -hmm. is he. And you said, what I did not say to you. 
So Gabriel had to come because Muhammad couldn't tell. He didn't know that okay. Satan had words on his mouth. So Gabriel had to come and say, yo, what, what did you do, man? I didn't tell you this. All right. Hold on. There's a there's okay. more. I think. Yeah, can I respond to this? Yeah, just one second. Let me let me show you uh, Muhammad's response and then you can respond. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. So the messenger of Allah, Allah bless him and give him peace, felt very saddened and was greatly scared of Allah. And so Allah exalted as he revealed this verse upon which the Quraysh said, Muhammad has regretted what he has mentioned regarding the status of our idols. Um, I don't know how to read that. And they became even more antagonistic than before. Okay, so you can go ahead now. Okay, um, you said this is a tafsir from this website, and it's a well-known oh. tafsir. So, yes, um, I'm, that's Bob Abnazul. It's actually a book. This this website has many tafsirs. This is just one of them. Okay, okay, excellent. Um, and in my just to let you know, I don't accept every tafsir. Tafsir is something that is uh, it's like an explanation. It does. I, I don't have to accept it. Okay, well, this one is authoritative. You got to accept this, especially if you're Sunni. That's what I'm saying. Whether it's whether it's actually um, coming from somebody we're respected or not, I don't have to. I'm not obliged to uh, accept. But it does help for us to understand the Quran and that. Now, this, um, uh, the Prophet Muhammad prostrating to Uzzah, Manat, and then the other one. There's three of them, three gods, by the way. Now, mm -hmm. this um, prostration, yeah, it did actually happen. But you obviously don't know the reason behind it. <laughs> we, do we do know. We do. We do know. Let me. Okay. You you've explained it. Let me also explain my side as well. Okay. Uh, are you aware? Where are you getting it from, though? Hang on. Let me explain because we have other things of doing prostration. Are you aware when we recite people? Yeah, people that refuse to uh, worship Allah or prostrate to Allah. Yeah. We actually prostrate to do that, even though we are in the middle of um, reading the Quran or praying, doing our five daily prayers. Are you aware of that? I, I don't. What does that have to do with Muhammad prostrating to three idols? He didn't prostrate to like three idols. They thought that. They thought that. The That's Quraish. really what he did. <laughs> no, the Quraysh thought that. I'll give you an example. Yeah, In Surah Al-Baqarah. The story of Adam, the second chapter of the Quran, Adam alayhi salam. Yeah? It's an example. I'm not going to go there. I'm just giving an example. Yeah? When Allah commanded the angels and Iblis to prostrate to them, the angels all did. Angels prostrated except Iblis. Now, in that verse, yeah? In that verse, we Muslims prostrate. Why? Because Iblis refused to prostrate. If you understand what I'm saying. So in, this is all. What, what does that have to do with this? I'm just giving. I'm just giving an, an example. You know what I mean? It's an example that. Uh, when, what a, when, I need you to relate that to the how. What does that have to do with Muhammad prostrating to the three idols that he mentioned and and gave hope? It for? didn't. It didn't prostrate to the three idols. I've just told you about it. This so it is, says. This, it's, hold on. Um, let, me, let me read it again. It says the devil put on his tongue what he had secretly wished and hoped for and said. These are the mighty cranes, and their intercession is ho is hoped for. When the Quraysh heard this, they were very pleased. The Messenger of Allah, Allah bless him and give him peace, carried on reciting until the end of the surah, and then prostrated. Right. Can I um, look at the context? And then the of idols prostrated. Okay. So who did the who did the idols? Who I mean, who did the idolaters? Because it says. The Muslims followed suit and prostrated with him, and then all the idolaters who were present prostrated too. Who did the who did the idolaters prostrate to? I've just told you, uh, the prostration, yeah. Uh, for the Muslim side, it's to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Yeah, it's to Allah. The uh, idolaters they are prostrating to those three gods: Al Alad, Al Uzza, and Al Al Manat. Okay. Now, where where this, do you see the difference here? Like, where do you see a distinction? Because they're all prostrating together. This is this is what I'm telling you. Yeah, when the the Muslims prostrated, yeah, they're doing it in reference because these people, the Quraysh, they prostrate to idols. They refuse to prostrate to Allah. 
So in our religious law, yeah, when people refuse to prostrate to Allah, when we read it in the Quran, when we read it, yeah, we actually stop reading it and prostrate. Why? Because people refuse to do it. So, so the Prophet Muhammad, whom peace be with, he's not prostrating to those idols. The Muslims went. The Quraysh, they thought, they thought, <laughs> they thought Muhammad and the Muslims were prostrating to the, to um to those gods, but they didn't understand so, the reason behind it. So when you have everybody prostrating together, you're yeah. trying to say that, that the idolaters are prostrating to their gods while the Muslims are prostrating to Allah. Nowhere does it say that. That's what I'm asking. Okay. Where are you getting it from? Because they're all prostrating together. You're making this up. No, I'm not making it up because I've just told you the Quraysh, the idol worshippers, in their mind, they thought the Muslims were prostrating to their God. You know, but they don't know the logic behind it. The logic okay. behind it is um, when we read the Quran. It's not just that. There's many places. No, 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 because like, no, because you're like you're you're. you're I, I don't mean to cut you, but I, I have to keep you focused. You're not dealing okay. with what I just told you and what we're talking about. Okay. We're talking I'm, 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 about prostrating after Muhammad had just glorified their gods. So Satan okay. put on Muhammad's mouth, glorifying their idols, and they all prostrated to Allah okay. and their idols. Okay, just, just before I respond again, just to clarify. So you believe if a prophet of God... um worship idols that means it or prostrate to idols that means he's not a prophet of god what is i'm saying your... is no what i'm saying is is bewitchment i'm saying bewitchment yeah. uh and and leading others to to follow other after false gods is a false prophet yeah but on this, this on this, this on, on this story on this story it doesn't say bewitch does it it says he you is said bewitched. then how is it that said... so how wait hold on how is it that Satan is, Satan is controlling his tongue? Satan didn't. Have you not read the previous um, the verses you've shown me? God says the the previous prophets and the Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. It's not just Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Satan read can come. And, sorry. Read, read it. Read this on the screen. Read it, please. Read what I highlighted. This look. Um, this story as well that you are bringing up was as well yeah about uh the prophet muhammad uh worshiping you, the idols it's not true can you, can you read can you read what it says brother please i'm re i've i've read it already you know i've read it so already does it, hang on so it says uh, let me let me, let me read it again okay let me read it but that's not <laughs> that's not true you know that's another thing it's a fabricated it, it, it's a fabricated story that one the devil is come yeah and make to devil to come and make him worship the three gods of uh, the Quraysh. That's a fabricated story. It's not true. Based on what? Because even Ibn, even people like Ibn Taymiyyah uh, affirm the story. Yeah, but this is um, I mean, and who is it? Who is it narrated by? Can you give us an example? Like support? Is it a strong hadith? Because some hadith are not strong. All of this is strong. So no, 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 here, it's not because have, I so accept. From, um, do you know? Do you know? Do you know what the Azbab al Nuzul is? No, I don't know them. No. Okay. So the Azbab al Nuzul, brother, is mm -hmm. by authoritative scholars that mm -hmm. have that give the reasoning behind why a verse is revealed. It gives the background of it, and okay. the Azbab al Nuzul by Al Wahidi mm -hmm. is the standard of the Azbab and Azuls that come after, because this isn't the only one. There's others that came after his, but they all stem from him. They all okay. stem from him and how he did it. He is the standard. It's very authoritative, bro. It's not unauthentic. You can't go against it. And so people like, like him, uh, who's given this story, and yeah. uh, people like Ibn Taymiyyah, who affirmed the story, and there's another big scholar. I'm I'm missing the name right now. I'm missing the name. Uh, starts with a Q. Even even something K. I don't know. I, I can't remember. I don't know if it's K M or something. But uh, you have big scholars, authoritative scholars in Sunni Islam that affirm this story. That say it's authentic. <clears throat> Sorry, when they say authentic, in, uh, are they talking about in the sense that the Muslims prostrated to the idols or to God? 
this whole story that the Muslims that the Muslims followed Muhammad in prostrating to Allah and the three idols, and that all no. the idolaters and the Muslims prostrated together. No, 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 no. They prostrated, yeah, to Allah alone. Now the Mushrik, the idol worshippers, they thought in their mind, they thought that the Muslims were prostrating to their three gods alongside Allah. I've just explained <clears> to you in our beliefs, in our religious law. If people refuse to prostrate to Allah, once we read the Quran verses, yeah, we stop reading it. We prostrate, even even in in prayers. No, no, no even, problem. Yeah, no, no problem, bro. So focus on because uh, you know I, I don't want us to keep repeating the prostrating point. Okay, yeah, focus yeah, yeah. Fact, focus on the fact that Satan put this on his tongue. On his tongue. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, glorifying me, and when he, say, when, he's, when he say on his tongue on which um because there's a lot of writing here i haven't seen every single one of it uh where can you highlight it please yeah i got you i'll highlight it again no problem yeah, sorry yeah it's okay we are we are creatures of repetition you know sometimes we got to see things <laughs> multiple times you know i'm the same way so uh let me go to i need to look at the context you see the context yeah i'll highlight the whole context so right here okay let me just read it out mm This is not true. This is a fabrication. It's not true. Based on what? Based on the fact that the Prophet Muhammad, whom peace be with, yeah, he's protected from um, worshiping idols, and he's already been commanded and told Allah. Obviously, is he's not. He's not protected yes, he if he's, because remember, if he's able to be bewitched, he's not protected. Yeah. And so then yeah. you have an example in the Quran. That says now forget the hot forget the tough seer in the Quran it says this. Okay, yeah, now, yeah. Satan threw into his recitation. That's what the yes, Quran yes. says. I'm aware right? of so that. This is yeah. just giving, yeah. So this is just I'm giving the background. Yeah. I'm aware. You know? but, but on here it says he secretly he um his tongue, what he secretly wished for. He never wished for that. He never wished for that. No, he, you know? no, listen, 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 you missed it. You missed it. I don't want you to misunderstand this. Okay. I don't want you to misunderstand yeah. this. He secretly, I know, um, wished, he, sec sorry? he secretly wished he secretly wished for the for his the people of Quraysh because they're his own people to believe yeah. in him as a prophet. That's, yeah, that's what right. he really wanted, right? No, but that's so not that secret. In, that's in public. That's that was in, in his public. heart. That's in public because he does actually preach the message to the Quraysh people. So it's not a secret. He has actually told the Quraysh people no, you to you believe in one God. No, you don't understand. In his heart. He wanted his heart, a yeah. Listen, in his heart, he wanted a revelation from Allah that would mm -hmm. make them happy. That would make that would convince them that he's a prophet. That's what he wanted from Allah. That's mm -hmm. what he had okay. in his heart. Yeah. So, Satan secretly, uh, uh, no, S Satan brought out what Muhammad wanted in his heart, and he put and Satan put it on his tongue when he recited. The revelation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Satan controlled Muhammad's tongue and made him say, uh, you know, you can look to these idols for intercession, which no. then made <laughs> the idolaters happy. That's it. Um, you know, I've, I've also looked Thank into you, that where um, this, even though, even though this uh, stuff in there, some of it is true, yeah, this one is not true, where the prophet, right? Recited from his mouth, this is the god of the whole world, these three gods alongside Allah. That's not true, that has never happened before. You know, it has but never Quran, happened. But the Quran says it happened. Where it the doesn't Quran say that. Says, remember, the Quran said that Satan threw into his recitation falsehood. That's what we read in the Quran. Yeah, but this that's is not, just going into detail of what happened. That's not um that's not talking about. Uh, the fact that um, the prophet proclaimed that Al Alat, Al Uzza, and Manat are the gods—that's that's talking about. That's exactly what it's talking about. 
No, 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 no. It's talking about in the sense of when we read the Quran, yeah, the Satan can come and put things in your mind and misread and misread it. It doesn't this say is talking about in that sense. That's not the verse Sorry? says, Bob. That's not what the verse says. It doesn't say that Satan, when you read the Quran, can come and put influence in your head. It doesn't say that. It says well, it doesn't say, when Muhammad it doesn't recited, say that. Satan threw in the recitation. But it doesn't also say that, yeah, on that verse, Al Alat Al Musa and Al Manat. On that verse, it doesn't say that. I know the verse you're talking about, it doesn't say that. Right. So, so how, what how does it say? Focus on, focus on what the verse does say. Let's become Quran only just for a second. Let's become Quran only just for a second. Mm -hmm. Get the background information and forget the details. Let's just focus on the words that the Quran says. The Quran okay. says that when he recited, Satan threw in his recitation. That's what the now, Quran said. Okay, right? can you... Um... I forgot, wait, wait, I forgot you, the chapter. You what chapter that, that's what it says. I forgot the chapter. Can you show me what chapter? Because I'm sure it is there. I just forgot the chapter. 2252. I'll go. They're quoting it. Da -da -da. Never did we send a messenger before, before you. Oh, yeah. So they just give the whole story here. Yeah? Now let's go to the real quick. Okay. Whenever we send a messenger or a prophet before you, or prophet, and he recited our revelation, Satan will influence people's understanding of his recitation. But again, eventually, it doesn't uh, say uh, influence. Why do you keep reading that butchering of your Quran? Like, why, why would you even read a a version of the Quran that butchers your text? Hang on, hang on. Let me, let me. Um. I'm just I'm just looking at Arab, Arabic words. I'm just just give a second. Can you understand that? Mom. Yeah, I can Mom. hear you, mate. Hold on, pause, I can pause, hear that. You. Pause, pause the sounding, bro. Pause it, pause it. Yeah, let's I just, can hear you. Yeah. Let's, look, let's look at the words ourselves. So I have it before you right here, word for word. Okay, I'm going to zoom in okay. so you can see it. Okay, so this is word for word. Wama and not. Our, our salna, we sent min before you, kablika before you, min any messenger, rasulin. Walla and not, nabiyin, a prophet, ila but, idha when, tamana, he recited, alka through the satan in fi. His recitation, um niya tihi, mm. word for word. So this Satan threw in his recitation. Right. Not he influences after we read the Quran or whatever that verse you were just read that translate. That was terrible. This is what it says. All right. So Satan throws oh. in the recitation. So Muhammad is speaking. He's reciting. And Satan throws in the recitation. Okay, right? but where does it say in that in that verse the three gods? In it? it doesn't specifically mention that. It doesn't specifically. So how mention do you that. know it's talking about that? <laughs> because of the back, because of the background information we have on that. But like well, I said, I'm telling you, this one I'm telling I, I, you is a copy. Hold on, Bob. I, I, Bob, I said let's throw that out for a second and become Quran only because I'm uh -huh, I'm in okay. a. Reasonable I'm an original okay. Quran only Christian, so I like to go Quran only. I'm an I'm okay. a Quran only Christian originally, so okay, yeah. So let's just focus on Quran alone. Mm -hmm. Quran alone. It says that Satan threw in Muhammad's recitation, his words okay. when he spoke the revelation. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then Allah abolishes what throws the Satan. In it, so 
uh, Allah comes and fixes what Satan he throws out and fixes what <laughs> Satan threw in it. Okay, Understood? and um, how does how does Satan throw things in people's mind? Does he speak? Can you hear Satan's voice? It doesn't say he throws anything in nobody's mind. It says that he threw into the recitation of Muhammad. So it has nothing to do with this mind. Is, he used this is, his tongue. This one I'm telling you. How does Satan get to people? Can he? Can you hear Satan's voice? Can you hear his voice? Uh, I don't. I don't know how he did it. I just know he did it according to this verse. This is this is what I'm telling you. When we read the Quran, we accept that Satan can come and influence people's mind to make a mistake. Now, despite mm. saying that, I don't agree with the three gods thing. That's a that's a fabricated no, story. No problem. Nope. Do you do you do you believe that? You, so you you affirm that Satan did somehow influence Muhammad's mind to get him confused about the recitation. Make mistakes, yes, we accept that. He can make mistakes. Boom, and that's what bewitchment is. No, that's not true. That's being <laughs> under the power and influence of the devil, which you cannot that's not be. True. Your problem. Okay. Um, do you know the story? Now, no, we're going to talk about, I'll, I'll give an example. In the Bible, Adam and Eve, why did Satan tempted them to eat the fruit when they were not allowed to eat it. Notice the difference. Adam and Eve were not possessed or controlled in their minds by Satan. They were but only they were tempted. By Satan. They were, yeah, they were, they were only tempted. They were only tempted by Satan. And Notice how went. Satan doesn't make them went. do anything. Okay, so how come they ate the fruit? Wait, did you hear the difference? No. It's all um, the Adam and Eve. Okay, would you agree, Adam and Eve? Yeah, we're not allowed. Did to you do hear, that. Bob? Did you hear what I said? Okay, repeat it. Repeat it again. The difference between Muhammad, yeah, being bewitched by Satan and the mm -hmm. temptation that went in in mm -hmm. the Bible with Adam and Eve, is that Adam and Eve were only tempted by Satan. They weren't controlled by him. Yes, Satan they were. Didn't make Satan didn't make them eat. Satan didn't make them speak. Satan didn't make them think. So who made them eat the fruit? They who did it themselves. The they did it themselves. No. no. But notice here, it's, it's, Bob, you're interrupting it's, it's, me. I can hear, I can hear you, yeah. yeah. Notice here, though, the difference is that Satan actually used Muhammad's tongue. So you cannot run away to the Adam and Eve being tempted because they weren't controlled by the devil. And even if they was, that's that's on them, not a prophet. Here, okay. here you have a prophet of God that you're saying is a prophet who was who had his tongue, the revelation that he's speaking with, controlled by Satan for at least a moment. Okay, can I talk now, please? Because I don't want to interrupt you. You see, this is the thing. I want us to have a respectable uh, discussion because I believe, I always believe in that. Now, Good. Um, would you agree Adam and Eve were told by God not to eat the fruit, the forbidden, the forbidden tree, right? Would you agree that? Yeah. What does that have Thank to do you. with the, with what does that have to do with Muhammad having his tongue controlled? Yeah, but can I finish now? Because you've had your explanation and then now I'm talking now, please. Can I talk, please? And then when I finish, it won't take long, it won't take two minutes, right? Please let me just talk, okay? Now, would you agree Adam and Eve were told not to you're eat that tree, question, right? By, you're asking me a question. No. Then saying yes. Talk. I wanted to say yes or no, and then I can reply. I can respond to you. Well, I already you answered agree? it. Okay. So you agree they were not allowed to eat the tree. Okay. So how come the Satan came, yeah, and was able, yeah, to um, put things in their mind and influence them to eat the fruit? Now, um, the fruit, that's going against the commandments of God. They were controlled by um, Satan at that time, and that's that's even worse because that's in heaven. That's in that's not even in this world. That's in the heavens. So um, that's not in the heaven in the know, Bible. First of all, secondly, what is okay. yeah, uh, go on, go on. Uh, Bob? Bob, I feel like you're being. I feel like at this point, bro, uh, you're being very dishonest. That's what I. That's what no, I'm. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm just giving okay. an example. Okay, so so, so 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 when we're here, right here with this verse. It says that Muhammad threw into the recitation. What's the recitation? This is this is what I'm telling you. When we read in the Quran, yeah. What is the recitation? It's a simple reading question. Reading the Quran, reading it. Oh, reading is, is just re is re 
So reading is reciting? Good Lord. Reciting? Well, yeah, it could. Recitation means reading it out loud, isn't it? Isn't it what it means? Could Muhammad read? No, when I said reading it out loud, yeah, but he memorizes it. This is the problem. Could he read? No, he can't, but he memorizes okay, it. Okay, so he's reciting. What is he doing when he recites? What is reciting? He's reciting because he memorizes it. What is no, reciting? What is that? To actually speak out loud when reading out Thank something you. loud. So what is he speaking out? The Quran. Good. So when Satan, so the, this verse says that when Muhammad is speaking out the Quran, Satan yes. threw in his speaking of the Quran. He threw in it. Falsehood. Right. I've just, I've just, explained, I've just explained to you. We have okay. no problem with the prophet. Okay. Pissed away. Pause a second. Pause a second. You do have a problem because you're not getting it. Satan threw in to Muhammad's recitation of the Quran. So while Muhammad is speaking, Satan threw in falsehood into Muhammad's words. Okay, keep going. You understand that so far? Yeah, can I respond? Do you? Like, I want to know if you understood that so far. Yeah, yeah, I, under, I understand your part, yeah. I understand so your part. what part of that do you disagree with according to the verse? Because remember, we're Quran only right now. So what part of that do you disagree with according to what the verse literally says? Right. The the verse, if if the verse says that, yeah, you have to you have to look at the understanding of it. You can't just oh. take people. Um where do we get the I'm understanding what? of the verse? Can I can I respond, please? It's not fair. You were talking, I didn't listen to you. Can I but talk, you, please? you just said something incredibly incredibly great. Where do we get the understanding of the verse? Where? Mm -hmm. Um, can I respond now? Please Excellent. answer that question. Okay. Where do we get that um, understanding of the verse? Okay. Uh, in the hadith, I'm not sure where it is. Yeah. Ah, so we're not so we're not Quran only anymore. Now we're going to extra out. We're going outside the Quran, right? We're going outside well, we're allowed, of what the Quran means. Well, we're we're allowed to do that. What's wrong with that? Beautiful. So when we're allowed to do it, then I can then we can go ahead and rely on authentic narrations in the no. hadith and the tafsirs. Which said that my, the the reason behind this, what he actually spoke, was in glorifying the three idols. Thank you. No, that's not that didn't come that didn't come from the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu mouth. You said that's a tafsir. Do you know what tafsir means? Do you, do you know, do what, you know what the tafsir is? Do, do you know that the tafsirs quote hadith that they quote re, uh, recitations? No, but do you know what tafsir means? Yes, explanation. Did you know that? Yes, that's what it means. Yes, so it's so not. Do you know that in tafsirs they quote hadiths? They quote hadiths, but they could get it wrong. People okay. could get it wrong. Beautiful. You know, this is this is what I'm telling you. Yeah, the top. This is what earlier I said to you. The tafsir. I don't always take the tafsir to be literal because people make mistakes. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. But the, the Quran it says. It, it, including Muhammad. Sorry. Including Muhammad. Yes, the, the Quran says, obey Allah and obey the messenger, isn't it? That's what it says. Yep. So our hadith, the narrations of the hadith, the narrations of the hadith, they have to go all the way back to the Prophet Muhammad saying. So it has to be from, oh, from Muhammad to someone else, to someone else, to someone else. To someone else. Now, there are some hadith that are weak, <laughs> and then you get some tafsir that are weak. So... Um, my understanding of that tafsir is that, when, especially when it comes to what, um, prostrating to the three gods of grace, it's not true. That prostration. To what? Sorry. According to what you said, it's not true. According to what? It's not true because I know for a fact that's a fabricated story. There are according to, there are, according to the fact that the prophet does not um, prostrate. To those idols, it only prostrates to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's what so the only that. thing that you're going with, Bob. The only thing that you're going off of is a bias what you believe about Muhammad as opposed to the facts about Muhammad. I no, just no, no, gave no, no. you a source. Hold on, excuse me. I just gave you a source that quotes the narration of the backstory of why of why this verse is revealed, and I showed you why I believe Muhammad was bewitched by the devil and specifically. 
glorified the three idols of Quraysh. Now you're saying that that's false. You what's what's your evidence that that is false? Don't give me okay. what you believe about Muhammad. Give me evidence. There's evidences in the Quran. <laughs> the evidence in the Quran in the says that Satan put the falsehood on his mouth. I've just I've just explained to you already about that. I've told you when we read <laughs> when we recite the Quran, when we recite the Quran, yeah, uh -huh. Satan can come and make you make a mistake. We accept that. But okay. to that extreme, hang on, to that extreme level of worshipping idols and frustrating to idols, it's a big no. It's a no because the prophet, yeah, is being protected from worshipping idols. The Quran says that, you know, um, Allah has sent his messenger and has protected him. Now, we, we have no problem with Satan doing all the stuff, yeah? When it, like that verse idol, when it comes to idol worship, yeah, mm. that's a big no. It's not just the prophet Muhammad. So all you're doing again, all you're doing is just telling me what you believe about Muhammad. That's all you're doing. You're not telling me why this verse is false or why this narration is false. You're not giving me any information. <laughs> I've just told you uh, um, earlier. You said they prostrated to the idols, and I've told you, yeah, in our uh, in Forget our religion. Prostration. Forget the prostration. Explain right. to me. How the how him speaking the falsehood that Satan put on his tongue. I don't care about the prostration. I care I've about I care about Satan using his tongue. I've just explained to you. I, I just told you when we read the Quran, Satan can make you make mistakes. But you are taking that verse, yeah. Can Satan connect... control your tongue? Can I finish? <laughs> can Come Satan on, can control finish. your tongue? Um, can say and no, what Allah says, tongue is talking about in terms of making you make a mistake <laughs> with what? <laughs> okay, what is mistake, tongue? What is tongue? Mistake you from what? Okay, how do people speak? How do people speak if you have oh, if you don't have a tongue? tongue right? if, okay, but if you don't have a tongue, how you how you how you are um, able to speak? Uh, you're, 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 you're getting desperate, Bob. This is no, 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 come on, bro, but you know. You know, people sad. speak through their tongues, right? This is how this people talk. If your tongue is removed, you won't be able this to is speak, sad. isn't it? If this your is tongue sad. is removed, you won't be able to speak, mate. Come on, you know that, right? So, so when it says tongue, yeah, when it says tongue, it's talking about in terms of speaking or reading out. Right. And then so how do you speak? Okay. When, when, logic, when, Muhammad logic. Spoke, when Muhammad spoke, God logic, uh, man, you got me all twisted. When Muhammad <laughs> spoke, <laughs> Satan put on his tongue, did he not? When he spoke. <laughs> yeah, do you understand what that means, tongue? God logic. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, come on. What's so funny about that? <laughs> I'll let I'll let you have a moment. I'll let you have a moment. Thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Let me come back. Let me let me get it together. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. All right. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Okay. Can I um can I ask you a few things? What um how do people speak? Is it is it through their mouth alone or tongue? What makes what makes a human being speak? Thought logic. But you know, you know, it's a tongue, right? That makes people speak, isn't it? Yeah. Also, it is true. <laughs> what makes a human being talk? Bob. How do people speak? God, logic. Please stop asking the question. <laughs> Bob. <laughs> Bob. Who my gosh. Oh man, this is crazy. This yeah, but God logic, how how do you speak as a person? What oh, what, what do you use to speak? It's your tongue, isn't it? It is my right? tongue. It is it's exactly tongue. that's what I'm talking about. Come on, hey. Eh? Exactly. Yeah. So when it says tongue, it's talking about in terms of reciting or, or reading. Yes. Right. <laughs> this is right. what I'm talking about, bro. So I'm so, glad so I'm glad we clarified yeah. that. I'm glad we clarified that. So, so when it says that Satan put on his tongue, 
So Satan put on his recitation the speaking. Yes, yeah, 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 exactly. Thank you. So, no, Satan, so, so right. Satan caused him. So Satan caused him to say something that was no. not to be said. Right. Satan. Right? Satan can put things in your mind, and I've used example of Adam and Eve. Can he, can he put things on your tongue? Can he put things on your tongue? Right. When he says tongue here, yeah, he's talking about in the sense of the prophet, yeah, being able um, able to make a mistake. Now, when you make how? a mistake, oops, sorry, make a, make a mistake how by doing how by doing what? If you if you read out a mistake, yeah, that's through your tongue, isn't it? Beautiful. Right. So. Yeah, so, exactly. so, Satan can, so Satan can cause you to say something that's wrong, right? Yes, yes. I've been so saying Satan, that. I've been saying so that. Satan, been saying so that Satan caused Muhammad. Hold on. So Satan caused Muhammad to say something that was wrong, right? <laughs> no, no. When <laughs> Satan, when <laughs> God logic, come on, mate. I don't think you're God logic. You're God logic. <laughs> <laughs> right, good logic, yeah. I'll give an example, yeah. Do you believe Satan can put things in your mind and speak it? Not my mind, because I have the Holy Spirit, but maybe someone who is not a believer, yes. He can bewitch them and make them say things that they're not supposed to say, like he did Muhammad. So you don't believe Satan can make you um make an no. idol? You don't believe that. No, only oh, he can only do that to people like Muhammad who don't have the Holy Spirit. Okay, so you also don't believe Satan can uh, make you worship idols? No, he can only do that to people who, again, uh, excellent, are under beautiful, beautiful, they beautiful. Now it's my time now to also ask you some questions because you've been asking questions for a while, isn't it? So it's fair, isn't it? Right. So we're okay. done here. Okay. No, no problem. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. I, won't, I won't be long because I'm going to go to work soon. So in about, let's say, 20 minutes and then I'll be done, yeah? Okay, fair enough. Yeah, because I'm going, as, I, as I told you earlier, I'm going to go to work, didn't I? You did. That's right. Okay, you excellent. Ox, excellent. Now, mm -hmm. you yourself said to me, Satan cannot make you as a Christian to worship idols or to create idols. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, Despite I don't agree with what you said about the Prophet Muhammad and Muslims prostrating to those three gods of grace, I don't agree with you on that. Now, I've got despite you having a problem with us in the Quran and Muslims for that, what about in the Bible that you actually mm -hmm. believe in? You know, um one of one of the uh one of the biggest scandals for me in the Christian Bible is Aaron, the prophet of God, yeah. When Moses mm -hmm. went up the mountain to speak to God, he left him in charge, and the people were restless. People were upset because Moses took so long. He delayed his coming back. And then they asked him, where is that Moses, that fella? You know, and then they asked him, can you create us a God uh, that got us out of Egypt? Straight away in the Bible, Aaron created an idol for them. So, can you explain that for me, please? No, I think it's pretty self-evident. There's nothing to explain. Sorry? There's nothing to explain. It's pretty self-explanatory. You just you just laid out the story. Okay, so you accept our and create an idol for them. Why would a prophet of God do that's that? What, that's what it says, yeah. But why would a prophet of God do that? So, uh, there's there's two things that I want to point out, man. Okay. One, the, the reason why you came here. The reason why you came here is because you have something in your verse and in your backstories saying that Muhammad was bewitched by Satan and how Satan used his tongue to speak the words that God did not tell him to speak. That's right. Right? So you came here yeah, as, if, right, yeah. as if it is a parallel, similar story, which it is not. You, you do not have Aaron being possessed by Satan, um, being possessed by Satan to do anything. He's not possessed or bewitched by Satan. Um, but you do have a sinful man who did something sinful. It's as simple as that. We do not believe in our Bible 
that the prophets were perfect and sinless. The only sinless and perfect man to ever walk this planet is Jesus, according to the Bible and the Quran. So Aaron is not our, um, he's not our standard. He is not who we look to and who we follow. We follow Christ. Um, he did wrong there and was reprimanded for his wrongdoing. He was sinful. It's as simple as that. Excellent. Thank you. Can I respond to that? Because um, that's a contradiction. Because even though I don't accept Where? the Prophet Muhammad uh, prostrate those three gods in grace, I'll repeat again, I don't accept it. Mm. Okay? You accept a prophet of God will create an idol for thousands of people yeah, to worship it. Now, Aaron did that. Despite doing that, Moses came down and he saw people did that. What happened? The people who were guilty were killed, except Aaron, the very man that created an idol for them, the very man that did that for people to worship it. He's been spared. His life was spared. But the people that Aaron told to worship, they were killed. How come? Uh, I think we should actually go and look at that context and see yeah, exactly what, what happened there. So let's let's go let's go and can you pull up the verse that you're talking about, so that uh, yeah I think it's one um because remember whenever you bring up whenever people bring up Bible objections we got to get a Bible lesson right yeah okay and thank you oh, thank oh, you guys so much for the super chats that you guys have been given thank you guys uh, Reed B says thank you Avery for your hard work and spreading and teaching the truth God bless thank you so much God bless you Reed. I appreciate you. Yeah, um, Ex we, Exodus. I think it's an Exodus. Was it Exodus thirty-two? Exodus thirty-two. And the Bible says, just to add, the Bible says people that are sinful are led by the Satan. So that's a, that's a major sin. So that must... That, it was a major Aaron, sin. That, sorry? It was a major sin. It was a right. major sin. So how come the Satan was able to do Aaron to do that? I know it doesn't say Satan did it, but the Bible says Satan makes people do evil things in the world. So why no, would he do that? Oh no, 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 no. The Bible doesn't say that. The Bible doesn't say that Satan makes people do anything. The Bible says that Satan is the tempter. Uh, he influences, but he doesn't okay. make anyone do anything. We have our own free will. Um, and so that's the difference that we have here with, uh, with Aaron versus Muhammad, is that Muhammad was actually possessed by Satan. Like Satan okay. actually made him speak a false revelation. But you yourself said Satan tempts people and influence people. Mm -hmm. Influence means to control somebody, to make someone do something, right? Influence doesn't mean control. No. Okay, sorry. To actually make someone do something, right? That's what it means. No, it doesn't mean to make someone do something. No. You have influence. You influence is uh, you have, uh, you, you basically like uh, make an impression on someone and you, uh you know you get them to listen to you yeah. like they, 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 they can listen to you or stuff like that yeah. they'll listen to you um so they can listen to you and stuff like that but that doesn't influence is not the same as uh, actually controlling someone it's not controlling someone like how satan okay. controlled Muhammad and his tongue okay in whatever you said it is still uh, making someone to do something because you said listen, listen means to actually um, do what someone told you. So I'll, I'll agree with your explanation. That's not a problem. Good. So that's why we have a difference with Muhammad, who says, or where the Quran says that Satan made him say something that he wasn't supposed to say. Yeah, but listen and influence is the same. It's just a different words. It's the same thing. I, I'm not disagreeing. What I'm saying okay. is that Excellent. your Quran teaches that Muhammad, that Satan made Muhammad say, so he controlled his mouth. 
and made him say something that he shouldn't say. Oh, okay. I know that in the Bible, that story, Aaron doesn't say that, but you yourself said in the Bible, yeah. Satan tempts, tempts people and um, uh, and makes people sense. listen to him. Yeah, fine. So it's the same thing. He doesn't, so, doesn't make any. He doesn't make anyone do anything. He doesn't make people listen to him. He doesn't make people do anything. He is an influencer, a liar. He leads people astray, but people yeah. do stuff of their own will. No, I agree with you. I agree. Okay, can we talk about our? Um, you said you want to go in details about this. So yeah, yeah. Let's put it on the screen. Let's read through this and see. What Sorry, happens. which one? Which one are you reading? Because it's a few of them. Which one is it? You said Exodus thirty-two. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. So it says, when people saw that Moses delayed to come down from the mountain, the people gathered themselves together to Aaron and said to him, "Up, make us gods who shall go before us." As for this Moses, the man who brought us out of the land of Egypt, we do not know what has become of him. So Aaron said to them, take off the rings of gold that are in the ears of your wives, your sons, and your daughters, and bring them to me. So all the people took off the rings of gold that were in their ears and brought them to Aaron, and he, had, and he received the gold from their hand and fashioned it with a, gra with a graving tool and made a golden, golden calf. And they said, these are our gods, O Israel who brought you up out of the land of Egypt. When Aaron saw this, he built an altar before it. And Aaron made a proclamation and said, tomorrow shall be a feast to the Lord. And they rose up early the next day and offered burnt offerings and burnt peace offerings. And the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up and play. And the Lord said, said to Moses, go down for your people whom you have brought out of the land of Egypt have corrupted themselves. They turned aside quickly out of the way I commanded them. They have made themselves golden calf and have worshipped it and sacrificed to it and said, these are your, our gods who brought you out of the land of Egypt, O Israel. And the Lord said to Moses, I have seen this people and behold is a stick -necked, stiff necked people. Now, therefore, let me alone that my wrath may burn hot against them and I may consume them in order that I may make a great nation of you. But Moses implored the Lord, his God, and said, O Lord, why does your wrath burn hot against your people whom you have brought out of the land of Egypt with great power and with a mighty hand? Why should the Egyptians say, with evil intent did he bring them out? to kill them in the mountains and consume them from the face of the earth. Turn from your burning anger and relent from this disaster against your people. Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, your servants, to whom you swore by your own self and said to them, I will multiply your offspring as the stars of heaven and all this land that I have promised, I will give to your offspring and they shall inherit it forever. And the Lord relented from the disaster that he had spoken of bringing on his people. Then Moses turned and went down from the mountain. Hold on a second. So it says, so it says God relented from the disaster that he was going to put on the people for turning away and worshiping the calf. Uh, then Moses turned and went down from the mountain with the two tablets of testimony in his hand. Da -da -da -da. Joshua heard the noise. Let's keep going down. There is a noise of war in the camp, but he said, it is not the sound of shouting victory or the sound of a cry defeat, but the sound of singing that I hear, dancing. All right, so that's when he, okay. So he took the, so he took the calf, hold on. And as soon as he came near the camp and saw the calf and the dancing, Moses' Moses' anger burned hot, and he threw the tablets, broke them. He took the calf that they made, and burned it with fire. Sorry, I'm not. I'm not cutting you off. I'm going in about five minutes. Yeah. Okay. Five minutes. Okay, so let's try to skip down to see what happened with Aaron. Yeah, can you do it quickly, please? Because I'm going in five minutes, please. 
So Moses said to Aaron, what did this people do to you that you have brought such great sin upon them? And Aaron said, let not your anger, let not the anger of my Lord burn hot. You know the people, they are they are set on evil for they said to me, make us gods and da 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 da. So I said to them, let da 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 da. So they gave it to me and he made this calf. And then Moses saw that the people had broken loose for Aaron had let them break loose to the derision of their enemies. Who is on the Lord's side? Come to me. Okay, here we go. Then Moses stood in the gate of the camp and said, Who is on the Lord's side? Come to me. And all the sons of Levi gathered around him. And he said to them, Thus says the Lord God of Israel, Put your sword on your side, each of you, and go to and fro from the gate throughout the camp, each of you, and kill his brother and his companion and his neighbor. And the sons of Levi did according to the word of the Lord, of the word of Moses. And that day about 3,000 men of people of the people fell. And Moses said, today you have been ordained for the service of the Lord, each one at the, at the cost of his son and of his brothers, so that he might bestow a blessing upon you this day. Okay, so what happened was, is that God relented from his uh, anger from, from uh, their, their idol worship and then offered redemption by saying, who is on the Lord's side? And all of the sons of Levi went unto the Lord's side, including Aaron because he's of the Levite tribe, sons of Levi. So that's why. Okay, that's now, this, I mean, I, I don't have much time to talk, to be honest. Is there, um, is there a time, is there a day we can fix to have continue this conversation, please? Yeah, uh, you can come back Monday. We can go live Monday. Because um, I'm from England and, and I do night shifts. It's night time here. Is it okay nice. if you do it earlier and then we can have more time, please? Right. Ooh. <laughs> Where are you from? You sound like you're from America. Yeah, I'm from California, man. We're eight hours away. Okay. So How about we do it? How about we do it on... um? Did you say today's Friday? Okay. So we do it on... um Monday. I'm available Monday. Monday. Yeah. I'm happy with Monday, mate. Yeah, Monday's up. Monday's fine. I'm happy with Monday. Okay. Yeah. So Monday, I mean, Monday, I'm, and so the, the time that we did today was that too late? That was too uh, late for you? No, we did. That wasn't we late. Good time. We can do it. Yeah, we can do it at, at uh, the same time, like today on Monday, please. Okay. So okay, good. So it was uh, it was like what six p.m. your time, huh? Yeah, but I want you to promise me to come back and then we can continue with this topic because you've asked me a lot about Islam, so it's my turn as well, isn't it? Right? Yeah, that's fair. That's okay, fair. and also, um, I just want to say I appreciate the fact that you've listened to me and I've listened to you. There's no cussing, there's no insulting, there's no abuse. I don't like abusive languages, you know what I mean? So yeah. you seem you seem like somebody who is a very respectable man, and of course, I'm gonna treat you the same as well. So Thank I'm you. sure I'm sure you've treat I'm sure I also I'm sure you also feel like I treated you with respect, right? You did. You were nice, man. You you made me you gave me a good laugh today. So I love that. <laughs> <laughs> well I'm glad I'm glad we get through that that bit because you obviously was laughing. So I was like, okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um so Monday Monday um, our time is half past five. What's your, what's your time? Right? Yeah. Sorry. Um, my, yeah, my my time, my time is uh, it'll be ten a.m. Let me, which is like six for you. When you say ten a.m., is that evening or morning? It's morning, for me, but six. It's six p.m. Okay. Okay. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just writing it down so that I can look at the the international time and then I can track you the time. Yeah. yeah. California. Yes. Are you from California? Yeah. Yeah, from California, yeah. 10 a.m. Yeah, 10 a.m. for me. Excellent. And for me, it's half it's half past five in the evening. 17 30. 5 30 p.m. Well, I think 10 a.m. 10, 10 a.m. is six for you. I think that's eight at like eleven. Yeah, yeah, 11, it's six, yeah. 12. Yeah, that's six p.m. It's, for it's you. one hour enough. It's one hour enough to talk. One hour. So you only have that. That only gives you one hour. Yeah, you, you yeah. Have to go in, you have to go in seven. Yeah, I mean, 
I'll find okay, a way. So I, if I, I could do. I could do nine. I could. I could. I could push it back an hour and do nine. Yeah, please, so, please, that'll so, be helpful. Okay, yeah. so it'll be five p.m. for you. Yeah, please. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we could do that. Monday. Oh, excellent. Monday. So, um, yeah, I want to say thank you again for giving me the opportunity to talk because that's your platform, isn't it? So, I really enjoyed it. You seem like somebody who's a nice person, respectable. And I absolutely appreciate the fact that the Muslims and Christians can discuss religion without um, <laughs> without getting a fight and insulting each other. That is number one for me. So I've achieved that today. And thank you very much for giving me a wonderful uh, discussion. I appreciate that. Right. I appreciate yeah, you so too, man. Yeah, hopefully on, hopefully on Monday, I'll, um, I'll, we'll communicate through the... Um, Facebook Messenger on Monday that we can get, um, we can continue from there, yeah, inshallah. Yeah. yeah, for sure, for sure. All right. Absolutely. And also on Monday, you can also ask me anything about Islam as well if you want. Of course. For sure, yeah. Can... Oh, first, yeah. First, we'll do the Bible, first we'll do Bible talk and then we yeah. can switch to Islam. Excellent, yeah, we can swap around, yeah, excellent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Okay, Sounds good, good Logic. Um, is it possible if I can keep your video or is it on YouTube? This one. Yeah, you could you could do yeah, it's on YouTube. You can do whatever you want with it. Okay, excellent. All right, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. All right, take care, bro. All right, take Have care, boss. Take care, mate. See you later. Right. See you later. All right, ladies Bye. and gents. <laughs> there we have it. Hunter reasoned answered. Um, ask Truth Apologetics if you guys are here. You're more than welcome to come up. Please give me a shoot me a text if you guys feel like coming up just for a little bit before I close down and uh, give your thoughts and things of this nature. So I'll leave this open for a little bit, but text me so I'll send you so I can send you guys the link if you guys feel like coming up. Uh, Hunter, if you're there, everything New Testament. Um, that is from Reason Answers and Ask Truth Apologetics. Give shoot me a text if you guys feel like coming up. Or oh, Danny, Danny too. Shoot me a text if you feel like coming up, man. See you guys in here. But yeah, um, that was that was that was hilarious. That was hilarious. My goodness, that was hilarious. This dude really gave me uh, an amazing laugh. He gave me an amazing laugh, for real. <laughs> gave me an amazing laugh. Oh man. He was like, what does your mouth got logic? What what do what, what do people use to speak? <laughs> if you guys haven't already, please leave. Hit that like button right now. Hit that like button right now. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed the conversation. Uh, he'll be back <laughs> Monday. He'll be back on Monday. Um, and I hope you guys keep me in your prayers. Again, guys, we are we're growing. We're at 34 and a half, 34. 0.5 K subscribers. Thank God. Um, so I really, I really appreciate the support again, guys, please, please uh, consider joining the Patreon, the Patreon. Uh, I need, I need, you know, as many, as many as I can of you guys. Okay. So Thaddeus is at work. You can step out for a few minutes if you want. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. If you, if you have time, if you have time, um, if you have time, come on through. He you, 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 you said he's at work. So if you have time, come on through. Here's the link. Here's the link. There we go. All right. But yeah, guys, um, I hope this uh, the, the conversation was edifying or, you know, uh, I know a lot of you guys already know the stuff that we share that we share today uh, that Satan used Muhammad's tongue and was and has bewitched him automatically dis, dis, uh, disregards him as a prophet. What does Deuteronomy say, ladies and gentlemen? What does Deuteronomy say? What does Deuteronomy say? This automatically dis disqualifies Muhammad as a prophet. Unfortunately for him. Was it uh, 13 or 14? I sent the link. 
<laughs> devil's advocate. I don't need a devil's advocate, not to. <laughs> but here. Everything New Testament. Deuteronomy. If a prophet or a dreamer of dreams arises among you and gives you a sign or a wonder, and the sign or wonder that he tells you comes to pass, even. And if he says, Let us go after other gods which you have not known and let us serve them, you shall not listen to the words of that prophet or that dreamer of dreams. For the Lord your God is testing you to know whether you love the Lord your God with all your heart and all. All with all your soul. You shall walk after the Lord your God and fear him and keep his. But that prophet or that dreamer of dreams shall be put to death because he has taught rebellion against the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt and redeemed you out of the house of slavery to make you leave the way in which the Lord your God commanded you to walk. So you shall purge the evil from your midst. So according to the law, According to the Torah, Muhammad would be getting stoned to death. Come on up. Yes. Hello. What's going on, Thaddeus? <laughs> I, was, I certainly wasn't planning on uh, jumping on here, but I would just have to say that is one of the funniest things I have ever seen. <laughs> Literally. I, I was laughing so hard. He was... <laughs> making the most ridiculous arguments. He's like, yeah, we Muslims believe that, that Muhammad was possessed by Satan. What's your problem? <laughs> What's the problem with that? <laughs> What's the issue? What's the big idea? <laughs> Ask truth. What's going on? <laughs> What's up, y'all? Can you hear me all right? Last time I was on, the mic wasn't working. So, Oh, yeah, we hear you perfectly. No delay or nothing. All right. Beautiful, beautiful thing, my man. These are my brothers Daddy here, is man. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you Good as see always. You at work. You look like you're in a tropical place right now. It's pretty amazing. Right. Well, yeah, I'm in the lobby. I stepped out in the the common lobby. It's a big office building with lots of offices, so I'm in the common space now. And I feel special. You took the time to come on and hop on here and say hi for a second. Yeah. That's well, I had to. I mean, that dream was just. <laughs> I was like, I can't believe this guy. He's like, yeah, as Muslims, we believe that Satan influenced Muhammad. That's what I saw all us Muslims believe. <laughs> you know, he can he can do that. Satan can influence our minds. He can influence our minds. Also, you believe that he influenced Muhammad's mind. Yeah, but, yeah no. Yeah, but he Not still taught exactly. monotheism. <laughs> he taught monotheism. <laughs> He only influences mind in certain areas. That's true. Yeah, I uh, I was having a hard time comprehending uh, his his line of thinking. Besides just uh, an understanding, he it was just emotionally too much. I think psychologically too much to to process all at once, and so that's a coping mechanism. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, Thaddeus was in the chat saying he's he's gonna go. He's gonna say let's go to the tafsir, and then as soon as he gets to the tafsir. We're going to um, deny that particular tafsir. And Thaddeus, uh, uh, is a prophet, and his, his prophecy did come to pass. Uh, <laughs> I, and he didn't even give it within 10 years either. He just said it was going to happen next, and it did. Yeah, I mean, I could have said, you know, in the next three to nine minutes. <laughs> keep it, keep it consistent. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> Yo, that is good. That is good. You guys are the ultimate Islamic trolls, man. This is crazy. It was Islamophobia uh, at its best. It was yeah. impressive, and I, I I sent you a text, God Logic. I know you were busy yeah. with it, but uh, um, I, I was I was hoping that we'd be able to get him to the point of defining shirk. Number one, mm -hmm. um, you know, to say his partners partners alongside a law, and then. To have him tell us that it is a uh, unforgivable sin to do shirk, I was hoping we'd get to that point, um, and then that way we would be able to um, kind of pin him down 
on the fact that Muhammad and all of the Muslims and all of the pagans at that particular time did actually commit the unforgivable sin of shirk, um, having partners with Allah, while simultaneously, this is what I wanted to get to, um, uh, the Quran, uh, a law of the Quran says to, in order to verify the Quran or falsify the Quran, that uh, someone must be able to produce a surah like it. Mm. I'm not, you know, it's pretty obvious to me that Shaitan did actually produce a surah like it. And in fact, it was so much like the Quran, Muhammad believed it, all of his companions believed it, and all of mm -hmm. the pagans believed it and of course it did come from shaitan himself so shaitan actually produced a surah like it meeting the criteria of the quran to falsify it indicating that the quran is not from allah and in fact even shaitan can make something just like the quran so i wanted us to get there but he just kept getting off in the weeds so well maybe monday maybe monday we'll be able to touch on that a little bit because mm -hmm. that is a that's a good point <clears throat> he he made a verse so much like it that muhammad couldn't tell if it was from allah or if it was from satan gabriel had to come in and say yo this ain't it yeah this and ain't thaddeus it. i know you keep freezing in and out i think thaddeus how how long of a time period you know how long of a time period it was from when that verse was revealed to when uh muhammad found out about it yeah, so it varies depending on the source you're looking at. Uh, mm -hmm. The source Avery was pulling up says it was the same day that Muhammad was corrected. But there's other indications that it was literally years before the verse was removed from the Quran. So, oh, wow. don't know. <laughs> you never know. You never know with these things, just like we don't know the age of Aisha. But um... <laughs> even though it's... <laughs> Explicitly stated by Asia multiple multiple times. Yeah, but you know, you, you just never know with these things. You just don't know, you know. Well, you and I, I think there's a really also, interesting. I'll go ahead, Thaddeus. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I was just to say, I also enjoyed how Bob was like, I know this is inauthentic. And then you like scroll up and you're like, do you know the source? No. Well, if you don't know the source, how do you know it's inauthentic? <laughs> well, he thought as, as Baba Nazul was a person. That's what he kept asking who, when you said as Baba Nazul, he's like, who's that? It's like, you know, it's not who's that, it's what is that? And it's the explanation exactly. of the Quran. And he, he had just, and I'm not poking fun at him, he just didn't know what that was. And so he thought that that was like a particular like Hadith uh, or the Quran, you know, whatever. I don't know what he thought it was. So when he was asking who, it just had me, had me cracking up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, we had fun today. Um, you guys got anything going on uh, today or uh, some streams popping up soon? Not me. Thaddeus is busy as all get out. No? <laughs> yeah, well, uh, so actually today I'll be hanging out with uh, Elle from Elle Isohim hey, okay. and uh, her husband, your brother in Christ. Yeah. Uh, not on YouTube, just actually hanging out in real life. They live nearby me. So we'll be hanging oh, out today cool. for a good night. Yep. That's cool. And Sunday, I'll be streaming with uh, Mary Harp. We'll be going over the Trinity. We have a Muslim who's going to call in and talk to us about it. So it should be a very interesting discussion. Which Muslim is this, that is? Uh, it's the guy who was the, the sideways camera. Ah, okay. In our stream yeah, yesterday. Yeah, the young guy. Yeah, I, I, I don't recall his name offhand, but it, it the, the guy who was sideways and calling in from work. Okay, yeah. See, he was a nice yeah. guy, so he was, he was cool. Yeah, it should be All a right. good chat. Yeah. I, I had a private chat with him uh, previously. When he called in yesterday, that was the first time he called in, but I, I talked to him privately before that, and uh, it, it was a good talk. I talked to him like 40 minutes. And, it, you know, it's completely respectful. And he kept out saying you're making a lot of good points and such. Yeah. So yeah. definitely someone who I'm interested in talking with. For sure. For sure. Yeah, I, I pray that God pulls on his heart and, uh, you know, through your conversation, 
his eyes are opened, you know, I, I really do. He seems like he's like really intrigued and genuine and having these conversations. So we shall see, we shall see. Um, well, um, this was an early stream. So um, I don't know, you guys might see me later. You know, this was one of these early bonus streams. So I might uh, do one later that where there's an open panel and stuff like that. But today, you know, he hit me up early this morning. I was like, yeah, we can, we can stream you know, uh, we stream today, no problem. You know, so uh, Pro Life says some of my favorites in the panel. <laughs> Thanks, Pro Life. Yeah, oh. Miss Chloe. Oh, by the way, so uh, I'm sure you mentioned this at, at first, uh, Avery. Um, so I, I noticed Chris had the the whatever um, fake account, and then you said you had a yeah. fake account. Chloe, I don't know if yeah. Chloe is aware that she also has a fake account. Yeah, yep, she's aware. Yeah, she's, she's aware. aware. Okay. I, I reported cool. that account as well. Gotcha. So. It's all you clubhouse people, man. You all got, uh, you all got hacked or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know what it is. And they got our exact photos and everything, man. I'm gonna have to change mm -hmm. my photo. Goodness, I don't know how they're doing it, but whatever. You know, to God be the glory, they can't do anything. But yeah, guys, you guys know when there's a fake account, so I'm not worried about it. <clears throat> and I blocked it there anyway, so it can't. They, these accounts can't do anything on the channel um but yeah so we'll wrap it up thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me for a few for the last few minutes of the stream i love you brothers as always i appreciate you guys and i appreciate everyone who hopped up in the stream and showed up today to watch the conversation make sure you keep me ask truth and thaddeus in your prayers pray for our ministries and our channels that we continue to strongly and boldly proclaim christ and the triune god um to the muslims and non-believers okay Keep us in your prayers. That's big. Any last words, fellas? God bless you both nope. and everybody in the chat. Man. Just uh, make sure everyone sees this stream because I was serious when I said it's one of the funniest things I've ever seen. So, <laughs> Yes, sir. Yeah, there's a lot of clipping moments. <laughs> All right. You guys take care. Be blessed. I might see you guys later. All right. And we're out of here. Mm -hmm.